what's going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video in today's video we are going to be talking about fighters pass 3 and why i think it actually will not be happening some of you who are subscribed may recall way back a year ago now where i made a video called why we won't get another fighters pass and it turns out we did end up getting another fighters pass but that one wasn't really based off of that much but i feel like this time around i really think we're not going to get a third one and I think this is the last fighter's pass and I'm going to give you a lot of reasons in one minute. Because first, did you guys know that only 23.5% of you guys watching these videos are actually subscribed? But 76.1% of you guys still keep on coming back and watching these videos. If you hit the subscribe button, it helps out the channel a lot and it supports me directly. And you get to see more content at a quicker rate. But anyways, we've got a fighter's pass to talk about. So when it comes down to the fighter's pass we're on right now, we have so far only received one character, which is Min Min. And it's really strange to think that we've only gotten one character only because of what's probably been going on in the world and delaying internal development for Smash Ultimate DLC. Because we haven't even seen another character announcement by this point yet. And it'd be pretty crazy if we get more than one character this year. Or more than two, I should say, since Min Min already released. But I don't think there's going to be any more than just one other character releasing this year. So I think Fighters Pass 2 is going to take a while to complete. Say we get one more character this year, that'd be two characters released. Then we have four more to go. So I think it's likely to say that Fighters Pass 2 will probably end by the end of 2021 or it could be going into 2022. That's a long time for Nintendo to be working on a game or Sakurai to be working on a game that came out in 2018. That's a long work road. And I can't personally just see Sakurai going, phew, wipes the sweat off his face in 2022 and goes, all right, let's go back in for a third one. That just seems very unlikely to me. And truthfully, the man just, he needs a break. He needs a break. Another reason is Sakurai also mentioned in the last Min Min Direct, or Character Direct I should say, is that he said he will promise to at least develop 5 more characters, meaning I don't think they had that much more in them. The other thing is they are having difficulties creating DLC from home, and Push Dustin who is someone who I think runs the Source Gaming website and brand, they who translate pretty much a lot of the stuff in the gaming community and specifically nintendo stuff but they translated a column from sakurai where he's basically explaining that working from home has been pretty difficult for a lot of his staff and stuff like that so he's been trying to work around that and i'm sure that was delaying development and will continue to make it harder if we have to remain in this state and i think the final nail in the coffin for this is in a translation also by push dustin sakurai confirmed the remaining five dlc characters is likely the last for ultimate and this means that the continuous development has been going on since before smash 3ds released in september 2014 which makes a lot of sense because they've been working on both smash games and after they finished 3DS and Wii U, they immediately started working on the plans for Smash Ultimate. And then they continued working on Smash Ultimate with DLC and updates. So yes, this, this is likely it, guys. I think there is a situation where this could happen. And we could get some new characters probably in 2022. And I don't think it is impossible due to Sakurai himself saying that it is likely that this is the last Fighters Pass and the last sum of characters, but there still is a chance pretty much that there can be more. And I think the situation where this would have to happen, like I said, is it has to be in 2022 and it would probably be at least one to three characters at most. I don't think it would even be a pass. I think it'd just be a random one to three characters they can just work on and then that just be it. And it'd almost be like a bonus and rather than an entire fighter's pass. And I think eventually an entire uh, collection will come out with all of the DLC for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You can buy it all in one, kind of like how you could do with Super Smash Bros. 4. I think in that situation, if it were to happen, three characters would be cool. I'd even personally take Echo Fighters. 
I think uh, unique Echo Fighters would be really cool because Sakurai did say we would never get Echo Fighters as DLC, but maybe those extra three characters to make things easier could just be unique Echo Fighters or some unique moves based off other characters already existing. Like for example, Shadow maybe. But I personally think that situation is the ideal situation for that to happen, and I don't see it happening any other way, or this honestly is just the end, which I think is more likely that just Fighters Pass 2, that's it. That's we're done after this and hopefully though they keep up patches for smash ultimate i think that would be great keeping up balance changes and the other thing i wanted to mention is more stages and of course we're going to get more stages through the characters through the fighters pass but i feel like we're going to get more small battlefield type stuff because that was a really really interesting patch and i was that's probably one, among one of my favorite patches because of just how weird it was and it did something to the online so that's something really cool and I want to see more of that and hopefully we get that outside of the fighters pass. But to sum things up, Sakurai said this is likely the end, the workload is a lot, and it's just hard to see him instantly returning to another fighters pass again for the third time in a row. So honestly, I think those are all the reasons why we won't get another fighters pass. I think it makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of evidence against it or a lot of thought at least coming from the creators of not continuing this for those reasons. And I think these are very valid reasons to not make another fighters pass. It makes a lot of sense. But here's my one thing. Fighters pass 2 has to go out on a bang. We cannot have another buy left. I personally enjoy Byleth and I enjoy the reveal because I'm a Fire Emblem Three Houses fan. I enjoy that game a lot and I personally enjoyed that. But for everyone else, it wasn't a it wasn't a bang. It wasn't a bang. I, I'm not going to lie. Even though I was a fan of it, it wasn't a big bang that that, that broke the Internet. I think the, the me costume broke the Internet more than Byleth did. So Fighters Pass 2 has to go out crazy so that way we won't even feel like we have to need another Fighters Pass or at least that's what the hope is because me personally, I'll be fine with almost whatever. I think Crash is coming, I think Geno is coming, those are people who I think are coming. If they don't come and we end up getting different characters, I'll be okay with that too. This game has a lot of characters and a lot of content. I'm already pretty fulfilled for the most part. So there isn't really much that will make me think any differently. Except, you know, if it's someone I predict, then yeah, I'll go crazy. But I'm already pretty fulfilled. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe, like I said in the beginning. And also hit that like button and drop a comment if you agree. If you disagree, then drop a comment and let me know below why you disagree and why we think we will get a Fighters Pass 3. Because you never know. They can always just do the opposite of what they say like a lot of game developers end up doing. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.